everybody and welcome to another in my vlog. Uh, as you can see from the titles I've got a new name for it. Um, I think the new name uh, encapsulates uh, not only the growing with the moon but also my own personal voyage into the uh, higher vibrational and higher frequency living. Um, first things first, uh, Happy New Year. I know it's late but um, I seem to uh, believe that the uh, the spring equinox is the uh, start of life. It seems to me that everything bursts into life at that time. Plants, animals, people. It's just a, a general raising of optimism around that time. So yeah, it makes sense to me to celebrate then. Anyway, seeing as it's the new year, it's, um, it's been quite busy. You know, we've been um, doing a lot of stuff over the last few days. Uh, to try and show you something of what we've done. You can't really see it here at the moment, unfortunately, but there's um, a bunch of uh, fruit bushes and trees out here. Um, a lot of it was provided by the, um, the universe, funnily enough. Um, our neighbour was uh, digging out the boundaries to put up a fence, and they were digging out everything and everything that was in, in, in the way, and uh, a lot of that was some uh, blackberry bushes, uh, black currant bushes, I should say. No, blackberry, <laughs> get it right. And some... Uh, some other bushes that are in the garden. So we've got about, I don't know, about 15 um, blackberry bushes. And we went and bought a couple of apple trees and a pear tree, uh, some red currant and black currant bushes. Um, but we also found or moved some gooseberry bushes from under the trees up here out into the field. So hopefully they'll, uh, they'll do well. Now we did all of this after Easter. Because funnily enough, around here they've also got suspicion that you shouldn't do anything at Easter, otherwise it, it won't grow. Uh, so um, after Easter, but while it was still a descending moon, I did a, a load of transplanting and and, and planting of uh, stuff. Also found a, a bunch of what I believe to be sapling uh, cherry trees. No, in the corner, there's a bunch of them there, and um, I believe for. Well, Mrs. believes that they are the bitter type of cherry, uh, so um, more suited for making wine. So there's about <laughs> there's about 17 of those out there. I hope some of them uh, take root and, and do all right, because then I can get the uh, the wine business going. Well, I won't call it business because that's, that's a bit dodgy, doesn't it? But anyway, the wine hobby going. What else have I done? What else have I done? We've also and uh, we were waiting for the, uh, this kindly farmer to, uh, to put some stuff on this field and make it less acidic. Um, now he did, uh, he did dig it all up for us, but he didn't put the chemical on. So we decided we'd go and uh, got some dolomite. And uh, over the last few days, I put down about 160 kilos of dolomite just over the area that we're starting to um, think about growing in. Left half the field alone. But um, yeah, hopefully that will. It's got, that takes about three or four weeks to sink in. We're uh, due some, some rain in the next couple of days, even though today is beautiful. And we're due some rain. So that will hopefully sink it in, and then in about three, three weeks' time, we can start planting. Hopefully, it won't be too late for the season. Um, also, made some raised beds. Four raised beds made out of some wood that was left by the builders when they were building the house. Actually, before we even bought it, when it was just like um, a collection of bricks. But anyway, so that was that's been done and got myself a poly tunnel, and that's up. So uh, yeah, I put some dolomite inside there and uh, watered that down. So it's just a matter of waiting, really, and see what happens. Um, what else have we been doing? In the garden, this is more uh, for the missus really, she enjoys the, like, the stuff that you can't eat, <laughs> the flowers and that. So yeah, the, some lilac bushes, I think they were uh, what we found. Um, we've also, there's my, uh, my timber yard over there. Um, actually, I made yesterday a table for the uh, for the poly tunnel, so I don't know. That's the uh, the base of it upside down, or the table of it, and uh, the legs. And I hope when it, when it's put together, it continues to stand up for a few months. Uh, it's a little holly bush there. 
And someone gifted us some other little thing down there. But yeah, at the moment, it's all beautiful and everything's coming to life. There's buds starting to form, there's birds singing, there's all sorts of birds. So uh, it's, it's really optimistic. Um, still trying to study the uh, biodynamic calendar, although now I'm waiting for this dolomite to uh, settle in. Got three or four weeks before um, before anything serious happens again. Really, all there is is um, time to enjoy what we've got and and say thanks for it. Um, I'm sure there'll be plenty more things to do, um, and I shall try and keep you posted. Uh, like I say, we're keeping an eye on the calendar and um, trying to trying to work with that. But um, sometimes your hand gets a little bit forced, you know. When the universe comes up with some stuff, you've just got to, um, you can't leave it lying out of the ground. You've got to bury it, and you've got to get it in there and um, just hope that it's not too bad a time. I think uh, planting with the best wishes and the best thoughts in your mind is also uh, pretty important, if that's not what, a bit too hippie. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's... Um, Certainly, it's all about, you know, the st stuff is happening that we kind of wanted to happen, but it was too expensive. And then, like, the universe is just making it happen for, like, no money or very little money. So, this is um, proving to me, if I needed any proof, that um, there's certain, uh, certain ways of thinking pro provide very good results. I hope you're... Uh, you're finding the same. I don't know if you're in the same sort of pattern. If you're watching this, you probably are in some way slightly interested in this kind of thing. So you're probably manifesting your own wishes and desires. Um, even if you're not, then um, you probably find when you uh, when you look back at what you've been thinking about and what's happening in your life that you are manifesting, manifesting what you're thinking about. So think about something good. Anyway, this is just a little bit of a roundup for now. It's um, not too much in the classroom stuff. I must confess that I'm enjoying being out so much. You know, in the olden days, in my last life, um, the only thing I did outside was wait for buses. Um, now I'm just loving every minute of this. Although it's true that this is kind of um, a long way away in every sense from a cold, wet, grey stockport. Um, but yeah, so I'm blessed. I'm blessed indeed. But... Um, so I wish you all um, all the best for the new year and um, I shall keep posting and letting you know how I'm doing both myself and the farming um, with the powers of the, uh, the universe. So take care, peace all.